Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're having a wonderful day. I am very excited about today's episode, guys. Do you know why? Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Last episode, we got our steel production up and running. We got our QED up and running. We made a couple capacitors even. That means today, finally, <laughs> we can start making machinery and and cables and other cool stuff like that. So that is kind of our aim here. One of these days, I'll never misplace blocks. It's going to be a great day. I wish it was today. Uh, let's go ahead and get another crafting table over here so I don't have to keep running around all over the place like a fool. All right. But yeah, first thing I want to do here is just set up a, a third smeltery. <laughs> How many smelteries do I need, really? We got one for iron, one for gold. This one's gonna be for uh, alloys and anything else, basically. Um, I got like more smelteries and pairs of shoes by now, though. <laughs> Normally, I'm a simple guy. Uh huh. All right, so we're gonna want all the basic stuff: table, faucets, two faucets, two drains. I said that funny. Um, Smeltery controller, tank, and we will get this baby up and running. We're going to put it right next to this other one. Just so that uh, it'll be close to the lava and it'll, it'll look nice. It'll be in line with the other one. That kind of thing. Alright, let's lay, out, lay it out like this. I want smeltery controller right in the front, right in our face. And then I want the drains on both sides. Like so. I think I'm going to put the tank on the back. So I'll put uh, put that over there. Basin for the blocks there. That and that. And I made redstone clocks. I think these are better than just using those kind of pipes, honestly. I like them more. Because these types of pipes... Oops. <laughs> they, uh, they can get fluid stuck inside them, which gets really annoying. These uh, faucets don't have that problem. Um, and you can automate them if you... If you put them on a, a clock like like these redstone clocks. And these are easy to turn on and off just with a lever. So I like this a lot. Now that we can afford it. Whoa. Oh, I wish I got that on camera. Yeah, just about died. <laughs> I was saved by the artifact armor. I broke my tool station there and a zombie spawned. I don't understand that. <laughs> uh, like, I'll show you exactly what I just did. Tool station was here. I broke it. And zombie appeared right here. And he punched me off. And I caught myself before I fell too far. Some beautiful spaghetti wiring going on. That should fill up. Yep, there we go. Awesome. So we got this thing set up here pretty good, I would say. We got our pattern chest moved. I also moved the stencil part builder. Um, so now all we gotta do, if we wanna smelt something, just throw it in there. We'll go into the smeltery, this will auto cast it into here. And uh, we don't have to worry about iron constantly going into the smeltery like this one is. Oh! Why full? <laughs> why is it full? Was there something stuck in there? Oh, this one takes so much micromanagement. Alright, it should be good now forever, now that we've stopped using it. Right? I think so. I'm, I'm not even going to have that running over there, I don't think. We're just going to get iron blocks. Alright, before we uh, before we put down our tool station here, I thought it would be a good idea to upgrade it as well. Uh, I think the upgrade costs four iron, if I'm not mistaken, and three smeltery blocks. This allows you to make the more advanced tools from Tinkers, like the lumber axe, and I think maybe you need it for the crossbow, that sort of thing as well. Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty good, actually. Some of you were wondering why I didn't use this furnace after I made it, and uh, I don't know. I didn't think about it. It's actually really good, though. Look how quick it is. That's the Tier 3. It goes up to Tier 5. Extreme Furnace. And then there's upgrades for it, I, I see. One of them, a liquid fuel upgrade, I think allows you to use lava as the fuel, which we're producing an infinite amount of, so maybe we should do that. That sounds like a good idea, right? Alright, I got it made. Let's give this a try, because that could be really cool. And there's an ore processing upgrade too, which I'm curious about. 
we might have to try that out too. I don't know where we're going to put it though. <laughs> um, how bad would it be if we put it right here? Would you guys mind? Of course not, Etho. That's a great idea. Oh, okay. Let's do that then. Um, yeah, lava goes in there. Okay. Still seems to be pretty fast. That's good. So what does the ore processing take? Uh, where is it? It's this one, right? There's two of them. I think this one will wear out over time. This one's forever. Diamonds are forever, is the idea. Maybe we make that too and try it out. Because if I can... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, there must be a dark spot there. Maybe that's where the zombie came from originally. I know about the John Cena creepers, guys. Don't think I don't know. Yeah, look at that one dark spot. Hey. Hey, you are interrupting. How about I take this? Can you throw these? No, you can't. <laughs> I'm scared at this so much. Uh, will he come over here? Away from all the stuff I've built. Yes! <laughs> I think it was a John Cena creeper. I think it was. You know what? Let's just get rid of that guy forever. <laughs> I've started saving the safari nets. I think it's a good idea. So we might use them in the future here. Alright, I am going to put a torch there before I forget. Good. Oh boy. I can hardly wait until we get ourselves an inventory panel. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm noticing a lot of machines require like Enderman heads or zombie heads though. It's going to be a problem for us. Possibly. Possibly. We need to think of a way of dealing with that. Once we get this though, I don't have to run around as much for all my crafting here. Um, but yeah, let's check out the ore processing. Ah, oh, no, did it wrong. <laughs> Needed a flint. Alright, step one, and then step two. Right? Yes, I got it right. Okay. So I think I'm going to move this down, because I think by default it gets fuel from the side, unless you give a side reconfiguration upgrade into it. I said a bunch of words there. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to, I think, pull the items from the bottom is the way this works, and put them in from the top. So I made a diamond chest. All right, so we can get all kinds of different stuff in there. And fluid. Yeah, still getting uh, lava from the, the side. That's good. We'll put our ore processing in. And probably should have made something else, but we'll just use a chest here. Throw it there. So anything we put in the chest should get smelted fairly quickly now. What should we try? Guys, we can smelt anything we want in the world. Let's try smelt some cobble. Is it working? Yes, it's working. That's not what we want to try, though. We wanted to try the ores. <laughs> I just re remembered. There was a point to all of this. Okay, so the possibly the nether ores will work different. But we'll check this out. So if we put one iron in a, a furnace, normally we only get one iron ingot. Uh, we would like to get two. Let's see if it'll give us two. Please, please, please. One. Still only one. Interesting. Let's try with this uh, netherrack stuff. It's probably the same. It's the same. It's still only one. What about those ores we got from the nether? This is what you guys specifically told me I'll get more from. <laughs> so you better be right. Uh, no, I'm not going to try it on the cobalt. We'll try it on the diamonds. We can stand losing the diamonds. Right? Should be two. Or, I mean, four, I mean. Yeah, that's right. So it did double those. So if we smelted those in a furnace, we would have got two diamond ore. Because we used the ore processing, we got double. We got four. Unfortunately, though, all that redstone ore we got the other day, I already smelted it. <laughs> we would have had double this if we used that instead. So how is this doing? Did it finish? Oh, we got four now. Very good, very good. Uh, let's clean these out, and we are going to destroy this thing. <laughs> We're never going to see it again. Say goodbye to the blast furnace, guys. There we go. We got it all. So what we're going to do now, 
that's the normal tier one blast furnace we can upgrade it though and that's what we want to do i think using the hammer we can turn these into plates hopefully yes good so just steel plates with the blast furnace bricks makes reinforced blast furnace bricks and then we set it up the exact same way again three by three let's get our builder's wand out like so except this time we're going to put a hopper on the top and smack it with a hammer <laughs> and we get a new type of blast furnace here so this one's a, a little bit faster you can upgrade it as well a little bit more what was that thing called i don't know if we'll do that right away there was something here yeah the preheater so these attach to the sides here and you provide them with electricity and they'll make the smelt faster uh, but until we do that i think we can put these on both ends one of these is for slag one of them is for steel i think this is for steel that's for the slag that gets stuck in here and then we have to input charcoal and iron into it as well we'll do that from the top here torches on top because i see some dark spots so one of these is for iron oh that's oh i did not know that Oh, that's cool. I did not know you could uh, get an interface for these. If you hold shift, that's where you can access the upgrades then. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because you can have, like I put two in this one so it can hold more. But then I was like, how do you get those out of there later? You got to break the drawer? <laughs> uh, no, it looks like you can just take them out here. That's cool. Learn something new every day. All right, what were we doing? Yeah, iron went in. And then charcoal in another one of these. If we can keep this full of charcoal, this one full of iron, it'll make steel for days here. You know, it might not be any faster just as it is. Maybe you need those side additions for it to speed up. It seems about the same still, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the, another advantage of, do, of doing this tier 2 one, though, is you can connect piping to it. So you can't do this on the, the square one we had before. But anyways, we're going to move ahead now into our questing. We're going to check out the Delta Chain today. This is all our machine stuff. So we got Ender IO on the right and Thermal Expansion on the left. And all Ender IO machines require a machine chassis. Chassis? Chassis. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that wrong a few times today, probably. Uh, I think it's chassis, though, right? Yeah. Okay, so what was it? It was iron capacitors and iron bars we're gonna need or was it in a qed it was qed wasn't it that's why we made the qed there was a point to that too aha <laughs> uh -huh. let's go ahead and get that going so first things we're gonna want our sag mill and alloy sm smelter i'm pretty sure and i think those are next in line on the questing too yeah sag mill and alloy sm smelter so let's check those out while this runs we can listen to that beautiful sound then, too. Oh, I think it finished. Good. That's pretty fast, right? And we still got more upgrades we could add to this. Ah, res reservoir, too. That will give us infinite water. That might be a nice thing. We need more infinite water sources. We did that one for the clay. Fuse quartz. Hmm. Okay, we need an LO smelter first. Let's skip that for now. Let's open up our reward bag. We got a basic one. Oh, that is uh that's something I like for sure. I like anything that allows you to move faster, because I run around a lot. <laughs> that makes a big difference, actually. That's a good one. That's not like just twenty percent or something or ten percent. That's that feels like forty percent movement speed or fifty. That's pretty crazy. And no particle effects. I love anything that allows you to move faster with no particle effects in your face. Yeah, so the word is in too, by the way, guys. It sounds like there's no way to automate the QED here. Like, there's not even a question mark to put the items in. <laughs> it's pretty annoying. Uh, it's designed to be that way, though. They don't want you to automate it for some reason. I don't know the reason. Uh-huh. So, we're going to have to manually do this this stuff. But my plan is to have several of these, so we can hopefully keep the capacitor re recipe in there at all times, so I don't have to like put in nine items every time, just maybe one. 
That'll be a faster way of doing this once we can afford it. Because we're going to need so many capacitors and, and things like alloy smelters and that stuff. Okay, this wants gold furni. Gold furni. So let's do that. That's pretty cheap. For us right now, anyway. <laughs> At one time, this was like, oh, that's impossible. We're never going to be able to do that. And now, it's like, don't even think about it, because we got so much stuff already. And there. Cool. Let's hand in this quest we did, I think. Yeah, it's done. Claim a reward. More chance cubes. <laughs> so tempted to use them. Alright, we got that one. Good. So this is a pretty big thing, because now we can start making alloys, and with alloys, we can make uh, conduits and... And stuff like that. Uh, Death Seal. Gives resurrection. It says companion, though. Or is that the is that the mod companion? I don't know. Well, let's put that on. Sounds good. Oh. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's an Aether mod. Oh, wait. What? Oh, it's not something I wear. That is one freaky looking dude. Does he follow me around? Like he's a companion that follows me? Maybe he'll teleport. Maybe it's like a dog that'll teleport? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Interesting. So if I die, he's going to bring me back, I think. Possibly. I don't know if that would work in another dimension, though. A portal gun! <laughs> oh, no! Wow. <laughs> I have not played with the portal gun. Wait, I might die. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful. Okay, so it's a cumulative... A cumulative... A cumulative... I can't say the word. Damage, so if I keep falling, it's it keeps adding up. So I gotta be careful with that. <laughs> that is cool, though. I haven't played with one of these in... Since the very first... Uh, Crack pack, I think. Long, long time ago. Like when I did the floating islands. Um, and even then I didn't want to use it because they were causing lag, so. <laughs> oh, snap. That is awesome. Okay, let's try something here. So if we set up the portals and put this in a chest, they stay there. They don't go away. And we can still use them. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so we can go from one end of our base to another in, a, in an instant. And it doesn't take an inventory spot. I like it a lot. Okay, yeah, we still have this problem here and things still are running slow. So let's deal with that by making item conduits. We can finally do it, guys. I think we can finally get them. So these are pulsating iron. Just iron and, and ender pearls in an alloy smelter. So that's easy. It'll probably take a bit of time, though, so we'll have to set this up and let it run until we can upgrade it and get more power and that stuff. So, seg mill, we'll put over... Oh, wait, no, not there, because we need a furnace, too. Um, we still got two. Furnace generator, I mean, to generate power. All right, and then let's put that here. And here, again, temporary setup. <laughs> Don't freak out. I know, it's not nice. And... I was going to put another chest here. But then it'll connect to that, so I should use a different type of chest. Hey, you. You're right in my way. Thank you for that. He actually moves around on his own, though. That's it. That's interesting. I didn't see him do that before. Yes, okay, so that's getting power. Very good. Let's get this running. Because there's another part of this, too, that I, I noticed that's a little bit uh, crazy. <laughs> These are not normal conduits. They take something special. Oh. Oh, that's sag mill. Whoops. Okay, we can put that in. It's going to be one ender pearl shirt, short now. Shirt? Short? <laughs> okay, we'll let that run. Also, I'm going to start uh, pulverizing some coal here. We're going to need the coal dust to make pyrothium, and we need it for 
um, what was it? The double layer capacitors needed as well. All right, and that'll push, so that go right into there. Cool. Let's get this one pushing and pulling too. Oh, there we go, and pull. Good. So those are going into there. Very good. Uh, what was I gonna do here? Oh yeah, let's let's check out the other part of this. So you need the, the pulsating iron, but you need conduit binder, which normally is gravel, sand, and clay. In this, it's dust, salt, and clay. <laughs> salt. No kidding. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So that is a pot and and water. Okay, so it turns out there is a pretty good way of getting salt in this pack. You remember the blockheads mod? that I was curious about. I checked it out off camera, just in a separate world. I was very curious about this kitchen. <laughs> and uh, I've, I've crafted it up here pretty much. So we got a stove. We have fridges. I I made the black glass from the coal dust. That It also works as black dye. Uh, that's another reason we wanted it here. And we're gonna want some black stained clay and it's cooking for blockheads too. And then we can set up our kitchen here and get some salt. Uh, we got two of those in quest rewards already. So we'll use one of them for the book here. No? I did everything. Wait, is it... Oh, how do you make the green one? Oh, you just gotta smelt it. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> a little weird. Smelt the book. Uh-huh. Alright, I got some of those going. Let's make our black d clay here. Like so, and we should be just about ready. Let's drop this off. This inventory problem is becoming a problem. Mm -hmm. The toaster is disabled, though, for some reason, so I, I haven't been able to try that out. All right, we got all the things now, right? That's all the things? I think so. So check this out, guys. This is actually pretty cool. So there's a sink, first off. So with that, you can fill up your water buckets and any food recipe that requires water this will provide it to it, such as the salt. All right, you see where we're going with this? <laughs> this Cooking for Blockheads mod is all about uh, automating food production. Or not automating it, but like making it easier to craft it, because usually there's several steps involved, and uh, this makes it nice and easy for you. So the fridge is where you can store your food. So if I want to put my apple juice in here, it goes in the fridge. <laughs> and then there's the cooking table. That's where you craft the things. It'll show you, I think it'll show you all the recipes you can craft with what ingredients you have on hand. So this is for Pam's harvest crops, I think. You know the, how there's like a hundred or more different types of food? A lot of them can get pretty complicated and lots of steps and stuff. This makes it all nice and easy to craft the things, basically. Then you set up the stove for cooking. You put your utensils in there. And then there's a tool rack. Normally, this was something that always bugged me, is I would always have to have, like, five different tools around whenever I wanted to make a food item. It's like in my other modded series. <laughs> in here, it's nice and easy. All you gotta do is pick the recipe, because we have infinite water here, and the pot up there. We can click it here, and I think shift, click, yeah, it gives us a stack of salt every time we click here now. So that is pretty cool. That's how we're going to get the salt for our conduits. A little bit weird, but also very cool. Okay, what do we want to do here? I made some dust. Dust. I always super pronounce the T when I say dust. <laughs> uh, binding. Conduit to binding. How do we make? Salt and clay. Very good. Yeah, I overdid the salt a little bit. I was excited. I was a little excited about it. Let's use our better furnace. It's faster. Good. I've been smelting up a few things here. Um, may as well take that out too. All right, guys. So this is still running, but we'll we'll take a few of these. We can probably make a ton of cables with this because it's the nuggets, not the actual ingots. <laughs> it's actually pretty cheap when you think about it. Yeah, and you get 16 each time. Man, that's crazy. That's really good, actually. Oh boy, I'm excited about this. Finally gonna fix up the mob system, I think. 
So we're gonna replace all these. Because they they really weren't working too well. <laughs> uh, I think you can actually go straight from the, the autonomous activator into the controller you guys were saying. You don't need the chest between. I kind of like having the chest though in case I need to take something out of here. I can, I can stop it and grab it. Um, but yeah, it's not necessary. It's just kind of a buffer. But we'll go right into there. And can I use this hammer with these conduits? Looks like it. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, I can switch it. Okay, cool. So then we're going to go into insert. Yeah, that's right. This would want to... Oh, I didn't want to click it, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> it's been so long since I've used cables, I don't know how to use them anymore. Yeah, we want that on extract, but we want it always active. Or active without signal. How fast is it? Four items per thing. That's good. You can speed upgrade these, too. There's a spot for it over here. Um, I'm hoping it's fast. S seems like it's not super fast. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we might need something else. Or something extra. We might need those speed upgrades. What do they cost? Speed... Item conduit speed upgrades. They take electrical steel and pistons. It's doable. That adds four items per extraction. Per upgrade. Up to 15 upgrades. Okay. Yeah, we might have to do that. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Bye-bye loot bags. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're coming back. No. Yeah, let's just move this thing. I think it's going to be a problem if we don't, so let's just deal with it. Alright, this will go to there. Loot bag should be going back into here. Uh-oh. Oh, sneaking? Yeah, it works. So it can go right into the controller, like you guys said. That's good. It might even be less laggy doing it that way. I'm not sure. Hopefully it's, it's less laggy. And uh, if you want to put items into storage... Like this, you don't have to click on each one. You can just right-click there. And it, it finds its spot that way, all the different items. So that's an easy way of getting rid of these. <laughs> um, also, I found out you can use the key on the controller, and it'll lock or unlock all the drawers at once, which is nice, too. All right, no more diamond chests, no more transfer nodes, just beautiful piping. <laughs> Let's switch this to inserts. You see how fast they went in there? Oh, yeah. And they're being dealt with right away. I love it. Let's put down our furnace generator again. And we can supply that with sulfur probably automatically as well. If we turn this to insert on a certain color, like brown, and then we extract on brown, I think only sulfur will go in there. Yeah, that's our sulfur up there. So if we do something like that... We can choose not to connect the blocks with these cables, which I love. <laughs> and turn to brown. Okay. So hopefully that's not going to send sulfur into here. Seems like it's not. That's good. And it should be sending it into here. Oh, we're getting loot bags in there. No. It might have just been because I didn't set it right away. I think it'll be fine like that. Okay, let's do some more agricraft, guys. I did not forget about the redstone seeds. <laughs> I've been thinking about them all day here, too. Uh, we need them. We need to 10, 10, 10 them. We got to get them here. So what I'm going to do is just very simple. Expand the platform here a little bit. Uh, we got a break there. So I think I can just do this, right? No problem. We'll go out four, five, six, seven, uh, maybe eight or nine. Sure. And then what we got to do is put redstone at the bottom layer. Um, that's a 13 by 13. I want this patch to be a 7 by 7. That's the center. And 7 by 7, right? I think so. Cool. We got to put dirt on top of that. It's actually going to look pretty ugly. All right. There we go. And then... I'm going to put some torches down for now. Yeah, why did I do it like this? This is kind of weird. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we'll grab our Maddock and some crop sticks. We'll need a daisy seed and the red tulip seed. 
crop stick there, crop stick there, mutation there. And if we're lucky, we will get redstone in the middle. Oh, that makes me so happy. We got it, guys. We got it here. That's what redstone plants look like. I've never seen them before. They're all sparkly, red and sparkly. So that gives us one redstone dust every time it grows. If we 10, 10, 10 it, it will grow fast. It will give us, I think, four redstone each time. And it will be amazing. So that's kind of our goal now. Um, I guess we should clipper this to get some more crops. Or some more seeds here. So we're going to want to split this. Oops. Um, I'm going to try out a pattern here and see how it works out. It's going to be a little bit experimental. Yeah, let's carefully grab the seed. I don't care about anything else except this seed right now. Although I should pick up those because I don't think I have copies. <laughs> um, th is the quest done too? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's claim this. Oh, it just gives you a chance cube. Nothing more. Okay, no reward bag, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Alright, guys. So these are 111 redstone seeds. This is the pattern I want to try out to make 10 10 10s. I don't know if it's going to be any good or not. This is an experiment. But all around here, we have a diamond shape. The 111s are going to merge and spread towards the center. And when they get to the very center, hopefully, this will be a super strong plant. If I set this up right, <laughs> and if the the pattern works out, and that the goal is, I want to be able to just leave this, let it do, let it do its thing for a while, and then when I come back, we'll have a really good plant in the middle, without me constantly uh, interfering with it, you know. So that'll run for a bit here. Uh, I set these petals up. Did they do what I want? No, that's red. That one spread to there instead of mutating. That's no good. This was supposed to be purple. It was red again. Oh, we got light blue. Okay, that's a new one. White and blue made light blue. And this was supposed to be green. All right, another quest done. Okay, this is looking pretty good so far. I haven't interfered with this at all. I haven't bone mealed anything except for when we started it. Um, so the second ring is totally filled up here, which is good. That's what we want to see. We don't want it starting this third ring before the second ring is done, you know? So hopefully these will all mature about the same time before they start spreading. I'm guessing this is done by now, right? Yes. Good. So we got a bunch of pulsating iron. Let's start our next quest here, which was the energized alloy. Okay, so that is, I believe, redstone. Let's just double check. Energized. I've done it a million times, though. <laughs> I think it's redstone, glowstone, and gold, right? That's my guess. Yes. Okay, good. So let's get that running. Do we have much glowstone? Oh. Oh, because I had three on me. I was like, man, I only have three left? What's going on? We have 39 glowstone. Okay, that's pretty good. So we get those going. We need this alloy to make the second tier of capacitors. Um, gold. Where's our gold? Good. Grab that. And a lot of machines require it too. Let's check those out. Capacitors. So these ones here, the double layers. Is that plus coal dust, which we got, and we can make basic ones too. Pretty easy. Oh, that filled up. Aha. <laughs> okay. Should probably put a chest here instead. Well, anyways, guys, these are growing pretty slow, and it's about that time to wrap up, so I think we'll check these out next time. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll set up a sprinkler system for this, too, and fix fix the derpiness of it once I get some silk touch here. Uh, but, yeah, I think we're going to wrap up for today. And uh, Let me know, guys, what do you think about the series as it is? Do you think I should cut more from the video, cut less, or just keep it as it is? I want to know what you guys have to say about it. Uh, but I think we'll wrap up for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.